welcome to Brian's Got Game. I'm Brian, and today I've got a game called Little Town. Little Town is a 2-4 player worker placement game by Shun and Aya Taguchi and published by Yellow Games. In this game, players are using their workers to gather resources to build a town. There are 12 randomly chosen buildings at the start of each game so that each game feels different. On a turn, you can place a worker in the town to gather resources or activate buildings. Deciding where to place it is key because you get to activate the eight squares surrounding the worker. Workers can gather wood, stone, wheat, and fish. These resources are used to build buildings and feed your workers. The buildings each have unique abilities. Some turn resources into coins, while others turn coins or resources into points. If the building is yours, it's free to use, but you must pay one coin to use someone else's building. So, let's check it out, and I'll show you how to gather resources, how to build buildings, and how to complete secret objectives in Little Town. To set up, place the board in the center of the table. It's double-sided, um, the only difference is the, where the locations are. Place the five wheat space tokens on the wheat space tile. This is the market area. And then randomly deal out 12 market tiles from the game. There's uh, 12 starter tiles, and those are the ones we're using for this game. These starter tiles are indicated by a little bird in the top right corner of the little effects box on the bottom. Then deal out objective cards to each player. In a three-player game, each player gets three objectives. Then each player takes their pieces. So in a three-player game, each player gets four of these workers and six houses. And then place their score marker on the start space. Um, this means you remove one worker and one building tile, or token. Then place the resource cubes next to the game board. And each player takes three coins. And the rest becomes the bank. Place the round marker on the first round. These are the extra objectives and some extra point tokens I'm going to put by the bank. And then the first player is determined randomly. You are now ready to begin. The game is played in four rounds, and in each round you place your workers. You can either go to the town, or I guess right now it's an open field, or you can go to the market. If you go to the town, you can activate buildings and gather resources, and if you go to the market, you can build buildings. So, the first player will go first, and we will start by going here and getting... So, when you place a guy, on a space, you gather resources from all of the spaces, the eight spaces around it. So nothing from these, and you get one, two, three woods. So there are three squares, or there are wood. So you get three wood resources. Then the next player goes. So we will go there and gather two woods and a water, or a fish. And then this player will go there and get one wood and two waters. This player will go there and get a stone and a wood. And so we're gathering resources to build buildings. Um, so you have to meet the requirement on the card. So we, this player is going to go to the market and get one of the wheat field tokens. And we're going to put it right there. When you build a building, you put your token on it, and then you score the points for the building. So purple gets three points. Now in all the rounds after this, the players that go there, um, he can put their person there, and then they get to get the benefit on the bottom for free. Other players, if they go there and they gather, they have to pay them a coin to get the benefit of the building. So now orange, orange is going to go here and get two stone. And at the end of each round, you have to feed your workers. So um, you're going to need four extra resources at the end of each round. Otherwise, you get negative points. So we're going to go here and get a wood, a fish, and a stone. 
people. Oh, I forgot to spend a wood, the cost there. We're gonna go here and we get one. Oh, I put, sorry, I meant to pay it into the bank. So I get one wheat, one water, and one wood. I'm going to go to the market and we're going to build this building and put it here. And we get five points. And then why is it over there and get this is the last turn of the round, so you have to make sure that you have resources at the end or else you get negative. So we're gonna go there and get two wood and then use his building. So you pay orange a coin. Then we turn two wood into, as an arrow, into three points. So two wood, put in the bank, and then one gets three points. Okay, we have enough resources. So we are going to um, go, gonna go here and get wood. now each player feeds their workers so um, white you take back all your workers you need to feed four so we're going to feed them like that and then you put all the resources back One, two, three, four. And if you don't pay so if I didn't have enough if right now if I had to pay workers I would feed three of them and one of them would go without food. So that would give me negative three points. So you'd move back three. And you can go below zero and have to go back up again. So that's the end of the round. Then you move the first player marker to the next player. Then you move the round marker to the next round. Don't forget to grab those. And then the buildings place stay there. All right, so you have these objectives. Um, this players are kind of hard. So this one is build a building that costs three wood. So at least three wood. So that one would work, that one would work. So as soon as you do it, even on another player's turn, some of them can activate on other player's turns, you play it down and gain the points. Um, this one is have at least six coins. <coughs> and then build three buildings respectively adjacent or diagonally adjacent to a lake, mountain, or a forest. So as soon as that happens, then you play it down and get the points. Now these um, little warning signs at the bottom mean that um, it can. there has to be a building that qualifies for that. So if there isn't a building that costs three wood, then you can't use this objective. So you discard it and draw another one. So play continues, playing down your workers, picking up resources, using buildings, getting points until the fourth round has ended. And then you count up all the points um, that have been played out there and the player with the most points wins. That's how to play Little Town. Okay, got my dad here for a parent's opinion. So dad, what did you think of Little Town? I really enjoyed Little Town. Worker placement is not my favorite of uh, mechanics in the game, uh, mostly because those tend to be longer games and if you mess up early on, then you kind of suffer the rest of the time. Yeah. At least I do. Uh, but Little Town was much shorter uh, and so I really enjo enjoyed this worker placement. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we'll just jump right into the components. So Little Town has a bunch of super cool custom engraved wooden pieces. So it has these cool little workers that are all cut out and carved and they're holding little axes. Um, and then there's also the little houses, which are cool. And then the stars, which interest interestingly, um, mm. they have a star and a little hole in the middle so you can see the number. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. I saw that there was a cutout. And that mm -hmm. was kind of cool. There's a first player, our first player token. Oh, the big axe. Yeah, and then the round marker also is kind of cool. Too. Oh yeah. So they did a really good job with all of the little bits. Yeah, they're super cool. They're all lots of extra designs on them. Um, it's a tile game, so there's a whole bunch of tiles, and then um, the coins are cardboard. And the board, so the board is double sided, mm -hmm. uh, which is nice because on. A, uh, on one side, it's got resources starting in certain locations, um, and then if you flip it over, then... It's different on the other side. Right, so that adds to the replayability. Yep. 
Um, something that you're going to see a lot with this game is that it's <laughs> super replayable because um, it has all the all the different buildings that can be mixed and matched, the two different sides of the board, um, all the different cards, the special um, objectives. objectives come yeah. out in different orders. There's just a lot you can do. Um, artwork. So this has super cool artwork. I don't know who did it. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's really cool, though. The box is super pretty, and then also the um, landscape on the board, and then just the graphic design on the cards. and All the little buildings. All the buildings are cool, yeah. Yeah, so this was originally published in Japan. Uh, I forget what the name of it was called. Probably can't say it. But it was <laughs> a couple years ago, and so Yellow picked this one up. They did what Yellow does. They put amazing artwork on it, <laughs> um, and then brought it you know, for the whole world uh, to see. So yeah. uh, they did a really good job with the, with the artwork. Um, so to strategy. Um, something that I've seen in this game is that usually the people who win tend to make these little machines. So you go, you get some wood, turn in wood for money, take the money, get points. Yep. Or get some stone, turn in the stone for points. Yeah, and this is really one that benefits the player who's played it more. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, like, like there's 12 tiles that you're supposed to play to start right mm -hmm. and that kind of gives you a, a couple of different options to build your little engines mm -hmm. uh, but once you play in a more advanced game where you just randomly mix them in then it take you know the person who's played more can recognize you know which tiles are better than others and they'll, they'll build their engine early and then take advantage well, and that can also help by taking out parts of their engine that they don't know if they've played some but not through all the tiles they can throw in some variety in there too yeah that is true um, and it, it, it goes really fast. It's only four rounds, and so it's, a lot of times... It's way faster than you think. You you know, you build your engine, and you may not have enough time to use it, mm -hmm. like what happens to you in, in many worker placements. Yes. <laughs> um, easy for kids. Um, yeah, Lincoln played it. Um, and then... Yeah, the only readings on the cards, the little objective cards, I guess. And the, the buildings have symbols. Yeah, but I mean, once you understand what... Oh, wood is why a little... The greater than sign... <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> the greater than sign is an arrow. <laughs> means so. this thing on the left yields the thing on the right. I don't know. Two wood is greater than five coins? <laughs> yeah, so that's a yield. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, if I mean, if you have a gamer uh, child or a kid that's probably, you know, third grade, fourth grade, eight, nine, ten, uh, they could definitely play this. Um, it looks kind of like a little kid's game uh, from the box. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, it's not yeah, it's geared a, towards. It's a worker kids. placement game. Yeah, I think it says ten and up. Yeah, on the box, um, which is, you know, probably pretty close. Uh, but if, like I said, if you have somebody who plays a lot of games, they can pick it up. It's not. It's not too difficult. Yeah, and something that I think is super cool is that I play this game a lot. I taught it at um, a convention, and I'm still not tired of it. Like I still want it. Like, I'm <laughs> okay with opening it up and playing it. Like well, it's, it's fun. That's a good thing. I guess it is. Replayable. <laughs> usually, when you demo or you teach a game, uh, yeah, you get tired of it. <laughs> but that is not the case for Little Town for me. Um, so, Little Town by Yellow. You have any final? Um, no, like I said, this one um, it, it is a worker placement that I will play. There are many worker placements that I will not play. Uh, but again, because it's short, um, it's super easy. Um, to learn and to teach, mm -hmm. um, and so that's why you know this is definitely one that that I think we'll we'll keep um, definitely for a while. Uh, Little town by Yellow. Yep. Thank you for watching. Brian's Got Game. Please like us on our Facebook page. Send us a tweet at Brian's Got Game. Visit our webpage Brian's Got Game dot com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian, and this is my dad. And I'll see you next time.